Hello YouTube, my name is Marie and today I'm going to give you my full thoughts on the entire series of Fight My Way. So if you guys don't know, this show is really about underdogs who are chasing after their dreams nearing 30 except for they don't really have the best resume. <laughs> it's a coming of age story, it's a story about friendship and just interactions between people. Very slice of life. So our male lead is a retired Taekwondo fighter, I think? I think that's what he did before. And then our female lead, she works the information desk at a shopping mall, except for her dream is to become an announcer. And the first thing I want to highlight is a huge positive for this show, and that is the performances. Like, the characters and the actors are so well suited for one another that, like, you forget that they're actors. Like, I think this is the best performance I've ever seen from Park So Joon. The, the male lead. I've watched him in like these shows before and he's always likable but lots of the times there's like moments where he slips out of character and I can like I'm reminded that he's acting. This I think is the best I've ever seen him. Like really brilliant performance honestly. Like it's not over the top like this isn't a huge melodrama or anything but it's just so believable <laughs> and realistic and subtle and it's just like you believe that these characters are real and that's a huge positive for me and the actual characters are written to be very lovable like they're very flawed and they make mistakes but i liked them so much like i really enjoyed watching their journeys now I want to talk about the plot because the pacing and progression of the plot and all of the side storylines, like the subplots, I think was a big problem with this show. And if it had been tightened up a little bit, I think this would have been closer to a five star, but I'll reveal my overall rating at the end. Storylines in the beginning, like probably the first quarter of the series, that just have no reason to be there, like they're so unnecessary and they have no weight at the end of the series that I felt like it was kind of just like a waste of time. <laughs> now thinking about the show after having completed it, these unnecessary detours and like meandering plot lines like become even more frustrating because they're unnecessary drama that that is not impactful whatsoever. Whereas it's already written in the script to have wonderful drama. Like they should have spent that time maybe like focusing more on the impact that his sister had knowing that he threw the competition for her health like i think that would have been such an interesting thing to develop a little bit more and then also like with the female lead and like her mother like right there that's so interesting and like they hint at it in the beginning so it's obvious that they were always planning to go in this direction with the plot but because you like waste so much time focusing on other things to finally get there it actually feels a bit shoehorned in and even the the ending bits that do focus on more of those more interesting drama elements they don't feel like they're wrapped up very well like it doesn't have a satisfying conclusion because it was so rushed and just like thrown in there to for me it feel like to just stretch the runtime like they were running out of ideas almost like it just the whole plot and pacing of the show is just so off i ended up watching all of it because i did really like the characters and the characters relationships like the main relationship between the leads and then also the relationship between the side characters like the supporting characters like both of those are very interesting and fun to watch and i did like how they highlighted like the beginning of a relationship and then the ending or potential ending of one like i love when shows do that and that reminded me a lot of because this is my first life i actually kept thinking about that show through the entirety of watching fight my way so overall you guys this was a really entertaining watch and i really liked the characters 
And so like if you have nothing else to watch and you want to watch kind of like a youthful coming of age like underdog story, this is really good. Just be warned of all the like unnecessary plot detours. So my overall rating for Fight My Way will be 3.75 out of 5 stars. Like always, let me know down below your thoughts on Fight My Way and if you want to talk spoilers, just put a spoiler warning and then go at it. Have a good day, have a good night, bye.